Hey everyone, John here, and welcome to uh, another how-to video. Uh, today is going to be on on PC, as you you can see, kind of kind of here. If I go to uh, F five, see, see my cape, see my see my cape. We're going to be actually announcing the winner of uh, the cape uh, from the the contest that we had uh, this uh, w this coming Monday. Uh, so we have uh, we have a winner. We got a few entries in, and we wanted to go ahead and announce that on Monday. So uh, we'll let you guys know uh, when we post that video. Um, if you guys are at all new to our channel, if you guys can click that subscribe button down below, it'd be greatly appreciated. It helps the channel out a great deal. And once you do, if you can click that little bell as well, it gives you guys notifications so you know when we upload our videos or streams or whatever it is uh, that we happen to do. Uh, today's video is going to be on Tinker's Construct. I know if you guys play any mods at all, any mod packs uh, whatsoever, um, a lot of the mod packs, probably about 90% of them out there, they all include uh, Tinker's Construct. And Tinker's Construct is really, really useful in many, many ways. But a lot of people struggle with how do you build it, how, how come it's not working, and whatnot. So I'm going to give you guys the basics on how to get started with Tinker's Construct. And um, it's to me, it's, it's a lot of fun, and I love using it, and there are a million things you can do with it. I'm not going to get into all of them, but I'm going to get you guys started at least so uh the first thing you're you're gonna need to do is you're oh you're gonna notice uh when you load into any map or any pack that has tinker's contract or if you just downloaded tinker's contract all by itself uh you'll notice random stuff like this uh see, see that island in, in the sky yeah these slime islands and these slime fall from the slime islands i don't know if you, can, you guys can hear but my cat is running around <laughs> underneath my desk right now and, and meowing so this this little kitty here, this is Genji. This is a new addition to our family. Say hi, Genji. He, he likes to me mess with the dog a lot. Look at all this slime. Look at all the slime falling from this island. It's it's insane. Anyway, so I built like a little mob-proof uh, door right here so the, the slime don't come into my house. Hopefully, uh, they, they don't because I hate when, when things come in here, especially when it's slime. Okay, so the first thing you're going to start off with, you're going to notice in your inventory, you're going to start off with this uh, this book here. And um, you, you're going to notice I'm in creative right now. I, I usually build all this stuff in survival. And this is a great map, actually. I just loaded this in. And it's like a, an awesome location. It's got like a, a giant like lagoon over there. And there are these islands all over the place um, and, and whatnot. So it's kind of cool. So the first thing we're going to notice is this, uh, this little book here. It's materials and you, but by Skyla. All right, so uh, you're gonna notice all the all the great stuff that's involved, all the different materials that you can um, build with, all the materials, all the things you can do to build, and it goes into a lot of things very, very much so in depth. Uh, as we go along, uh, we're not going to get into all of them. But like I said before, we're going to get into just the basics and get you guys started. At least so you know how to build tools and go from there. Now, you don't necessarily need the whole smeltery thing to get Tinker's Construct going. You can simply uh, go with, you know how we build a little crafting table. So we got our crafting table, right? And when we back out of the crafting table, uh, it always does this. No matter what we do, it, it dumps the material on the ground, whatever material is in there. What's kind of cool about Tinker's Contract is when you put the crafting table back into well, your crafting, either your personal crafting or a crafting table, it turns into this cool crafting station. These crafting stations are super handy. Uh, let's go ahead and make a chest too, because we're going to need one in a second. Uh, that, that's not how you make a chest. How about I make a chest properly, huh? Blip. Let's make the chest really quick, and you're going to notice that, hey, hey, Slime, you did make it through. You made it through my my mob-proof door. It's not very mob-proof. All right, come here, Slime. You're going to die. Oh, sorry. So sorry. Not not sorry. Not, not sorry at all, actually. Um, let's, uh, let's grab our... Let's grab our, our crafting... Uh, station here we're going to put our crafting station over here because it's probably where we're going to put our our smell tree and whatnot so i'm going to go ahead and put the crafting station there hey genji how you doing buddy jumped up in my lap <laughs> and then uh from the crafting station uh we can build uh, a number of things the first thing we want to do is the f the cool thing about let me show you the cool thing about this is if i put this material in here and i grab sticks we're going to need a, a few sticks to make uh some of the the patterns and whatnot stencils and whatnot so i'm going to grab 24 sticks if i back out don't, don't walk on my keyboard genji if i back out right now you're going to notice the material didn't pop out it's right there can you see it that's really cool i love that I know I'm in creative, dudes, and I can go ahead and build uh, this stuff out of, uh, just grab this stuff from, from creative, but uh, I'm going to 
try to build it along so we know how to uh, so we all know how to how to build all this stuff. Okay, so uh, we're gonna put our chest right there, and this is gonna basically house all of our materials and whatnot. What you're gonna notice too is if I select the crafting station and there's a chest up adjacent to it, I can access the chest. That's really freaking cool too. It makes it a lot easier than uh, than simply going back and forth from one to the other. So I have my inventory here, and then I have my chest inventory here. If you see me keep grabbing at my desk, it's because Genji keeps trying to jump up on the keyboard, and I don't want him to uh, start pressing keys. And I guess he wants to play Minecraft too. All right, so let's go ahead and uh, let's go ahead and make some stencils. Uh, the way we make stencils is uh, pretty simple. You basically grab four, uh, two pieces of wood in any one of these patterns and kind of do that. This makes blank stencils or blank patterns, sorry. And then we'll make stencils out of the pattern. So you can put them in either direction. So the wood can be over here or the wood can be over here. It doesn't really make a difference. I don't think uh, which direction. Like if I did this, if I flipped them over. It still makes patterns, so we'll make a we'll make a few patterns uh, out of these. We'll use up all the uh, the sticks there, and we'll keep some of the wood really quick because we're going to need to make another chest in just a moment. So we made our uh, we made our patterns, and then what we can do with these patterns, we're going to go ahead and we're going to make some more uh, crafting uh, tables. So let's go ahead and make a few more of these. We'll go one, two, and three, and four. And I think we have enough material to make another. Oh, we have another chest there anyhow, so that's not a big deal. So in in here, we're basically going to take our crafting table. We're going to make a bunch of benches. And so we have our benches here. And we're going to uh, basically turn these into... Hold on a second there. We're going to take a pattern bench and we're going to put one pattern on it like that. And then this is going to make a tool station. A tool station uh, is where we kind of build the tools. And I believe... Hold on a second. I believe we take the tool station and we put another, maybe not. So let's grab our tool station. We'll put our tool station down here as well. And that we'll put that right there. And we're going to see the tool station here is where you can kind of uh, make the tools uh out of the different, oh, look at that, you can switch back and forth. So every time you have, you can pile them up and you can actually ma manufacture your, your tools there. Okay, so then we have our uh, stencil table here as well. And uh, access that. Uh, this is where we actually make our stencils in the stencil table. So this is pretty handy. Uh, basically, you take a, a blank stencil, you put it in there, and you select the stencil you want. You're all, what are these? These are all stinking random. What, what is this? So you can clearly see, maybe not clearly see, but you can tell these are probably for swords. This is probably some type of pickaxe, and the cat is attacking stuff down there. And then one of these little X's there, these are binding things that, to kind of assemble the stuff together. So so let's go ahead and we'll make this into uh, one of these. And one of these, we'll make a, a bit of everything here just so we have it. Um, and the cat just climbed up my leg and it hurt like holy heck. Uh, the little hammer thing. And these are all items to basically build with, right? So you, we're going to be making stuff out of uh, wood to begin with. And you can make it out of most anything if you really want to. We have all these stencils and we can leave the blank stencils in there. And then we need to make, uh, we need to keep a way to keep the, uh, the patterns in there. So we can make a, uh, a pattern chest. So we can grab our chest this guy right here, and uh, let's grab, let's go back into our station here, let's grab these, and go back into here, we just put it on top, yeah, there it is, so this is our pattern chest, so we can keep our patterns in there, uh, and that way we don't have to worry about uh, storing them somewhere else, so we can put uh, whatever, how does that work? Oh, does it just keep adding? How funny. Well, it was just one slot, but it'll keep adding as long as we keep adding patterns. I don't think it'll hold anything else. I think it'll just hold the patterns. Okay, can it hold other stuff? Let's see. Can you put other stuff in? No, it won't let you hold anything else there. It's just patterns. So that's good. So at least we know we have access to all of the stuff that we need. So again, so this makes the, the stencil table makes the patterns. Uh, and then over here, we can take the patterns uh, and make... Uh, things out of them so in the parts builder here we can grab our uh our stencil that we want to build right there and then we can grab the material that we're going to build it out of uh like that and we can make our wooden rod uh so it looks just looks like a stick but it's called a, a wooden rod well, whatever and we can grab our uh 
let's see here, this, this guy here, our binding thing, and then we can make a binding piece right there. And then this is where we're building all of our pieces and then we can put the pieces together. It seems really like a, a lot of work to get one thing made, but quite honestly, it's worth it in the end uh, because uh, then we could uh, uh, make really, really OP weapons. And uh, you can see here, everything's kind of attached. So I can kind of go back and forth uh, from one to the other. So I can go into here where I go into my builder and I can make uh, m my parts here. So I can throw uh, this guy in there, this guy in here, and my rod stick <laughs> stick <laughs> into here. And there we go. I got a wooden, uh, wooden axe. Uh, which is really cool. It's a wooden pickaxe. And then over here, I can add, I can go back to here. I can put my wooden pickaxe in here. Uh, over over here, I can add like different modifiers uh, to it. So uh, whether it be, what do you call it, quartz or, or whatnot, I can add modifiers to, to my pickaxe. Now, it's not the greatest pickaxe in the world, obviously. It's just a wooden pickaxe. But nonetheless, it's still uh, really, really handy. If we go into here, I think I have another wooden pickaxe. Let's go into here. Let's grab this one here. Uh, so it's better than that by one attack damage so now we're gonna we need to make our smelt smelt tree and to get started to make a smelt tree you need clay and to get clay um you guys probably know where where to find it uh hey, hey creeper how you doing buddy um there there's there's a piece right there actually if you look around in like lake uh, riverbeds lake beds um on the shore of your uh like beaches stuff like that you can usually find clay it's not everywhere but you can uh, find it in those areas so let's go ahead and grab our clay we also need sand and you need gravel so you need uh the same amount of each uh this will make uh our mortar this is what we're we're basically going to be making our um so you, you put them in this uh, this pattern here and any of those. Oh, sorry, grout. We're going to be making grout. So uh, it it takes three three items and it'll make two grouts, which is uh, I am I am grout as in I am Groot. All right. So we'll make as much as we can of that. So it makes us two stacks out of the three stacks of the items, which is kind of lame. But nonetheless, it's still uh, still cool that we have that. So then we're going to take all this and we're going to uh, smelt it all down. So let's gra grab our chicken. And we're going to smelt that all down. And what that does is it makes a uh, seared brick uh, for us. And that's what we're going to need to to use to build our um, our smelt tree itself. Now, I'm not going to sit here and wait for it to, to all smelt down because, see, here's our seared brick. It needs four seared brick to make one block of seared brick. So it, it takes quite a bit. Uh, these two stacks will not do it, at least not for me. I, I tend to build my, uh, my tinkers construct smell trees quite large so let's go ahead and grab some uh some items out of out of creative but i'll show you guys how to build them nonetheless so let's go to seared uh brick and we're gonna grab oops i, I don't want that I, I don't want that either okay so we're gonna grab uh probably a few stacks of the stuff and then we can go through and we can build them all together so that's probably enough then we also need uh let's go grab our glass we have glass in here uh, let's see here. We have glass in here and some dye in there and we need to make stained glass. So we're going to put the one piece of dye in there and we'll grab uh, this to go around. And this is going to make our tanks, our sear tanks and, and stuff uh, that we're going to be needing in a moment as well. So we'll throw that back in there and we'll go ahead and throw that in there as well. So now we need to make our uh, all of our. Hey, 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 creeper. How you doing, buddy? High five. High five. High five to the creeper. <laughs> let's go ahead and we're going to make our sear bricks. So we need a bunch. Like I said before, we'll make uh that they don't make one stack, make 16, which is really rough. So we're going to need a, quite a few of these. So I'll go ahead and crank these out and uh, then we'll go ahead and we'll make the other stuff. So we have one stack of this sear brick, which is probably good. Uh, then we need to make uh, the sear tanks, which is something like this. And then we take the glass, the six, it goes three on one side, three on the other side. Then you take the glass and put it in there. So this makes our uh, seared window. Sorry, uh, the, the tank is a little bit differently. So a little bit different. The, the window is so you can see inside and see what uh, what levels are smelting down. You don't have to have these. You can use just seared block. This is more expensive by two more uh, seared bricks and some glass. So uh, I, I tend to make them only because I like the way they look. Um, and so I can see inside. So we're going to grab this guy and put him in here. And we're going to put, I think we surround this. And I think this makes our tank. Yeah, this makes our tank. Perfect. The cat's like destroying clothes. Okay. So let's go ahead. We're going to make two tanks because I like to always have a backup tank. Uh, one, two. 
uh, so I can fill it up with lava so that way I never run out. Uh, it's always always handy to have. Okay, then we also need to make a controller. A controller is basically like making a, a, a chest. So you, you do this, and then this makes the smeltery controller. So we have one controller. You only need one of those. Then we also need to make uh, the little spouts. Uh, the spouts are just like a, a bucket, I guess, but with a seared stone. So we're going to need, uh, let's make six of those. And then we also need to make uh, the, the actual um, the spout for it. We're going to eliminate, I'm, I like to make mine uh, three by three on the inside. So you can, you have to put down uh, the seared brick on the very bottom level. And then you got to put a, uh, a frame around it. Now, you don't have to use the do the corners. I usually don't, again, because it gets to be a little bit on the expensive side. And I don't like wasting the material on those. Um, again, I'm in creative, so I'm not really wasting material. But at the same time, you guys don't want to do that. So I'm going to put uh, one tank on this side, one tank on this side. And I'm going to put my controller... Uh, right here, where, where is my controller? Uh, right in the middle, just like that. And then I'm going to take, uh, I think I have lava in here. Let's go ahead and we're going to grab these uh, buckets of lava. And we're going to, ah, ah, the lag. The lag made me, fl okay. So we're going to grab the lava and we're going to fill this guy up. And then we're going to also fill this guy up. Now, the lava tank on the right is the only one actually doing anything. The one on the left is not doing anything. But again, like I said, this is uh, just to simply have an extra uh, a tank. So I don't have to go run and hunt for more lava if you have the option to, to fill it up. It takes three buckets of lava to fill up each tank. So it's a good idea if you go hunting for lava to go grab six just so you have that extra bit of lava. It doesn't absorb it very quickly, but nonetheless, it sucks to have to go and run for it when you want to go and smelt something down. Okay, so then the we need to make the... Uh, the drains themselves that actually go into the little faucets and those are basically just like the seared uh, windows except for without the uh, the glass in the center there so we're gonna grab uh, we'll do one two of those for right now just so we have them and we'll go ahead and we'll, we'll build more if we need to but that's not a problem and then we also need to um, to make a casting uh, basin which is just like making like a, a barrel uh, of some sort uh, basically so we can make one two of those and then we also need to make a casting uh, bench like a, a table uh, like like so let's go ahead and add some more of these there we go we can go one and two it's basically the barrel up, upside down <laughs> it's, not, it's not, not too uh, not too difficult it's just a matter of getting all the recipes correctly okay so so now we can go ahead and we can build, did I say correctly? So we're going to go ahead and we're going to put glass up here. Like I said, I I, I made nine pieces. So I'm only going to use the nine pieces just like that. And I'm going to make, uh, I'm going to go back to my, th these guys here. I'm going to go one, two, three, three. I'm gonna, again, I don't use the corners only because it's a waste. I can, you can decorate the corners with whatever you like, as long as it's not flammable. Because again, uh, lava, <laughs> burn. So, um, Let's see here. We can make it like so. And then you can make it as tall as you like to carry more material. So right now, uh, this is probably tall enough. Uh, then we're also going to need to put in our drains. So we can put in one. We can put in this. We can put in three drains. So we'll grab the drains. We'll grab these guys here. And we'll grab those guys as well. And we're going to grab the, the drain. Like I said, we're going to put a drain there. And the, the whole part has to be facing out like this. And we can put drains on all the, all different sides. Oops. But it has to be clear to the inside. See the big hole on the inside right there? That's sucking the, the material out and pumping it out this way. And you can notice there's a hole on both sides. So you can actually put a faucet on either side. You can actually put one there and there, which is really cool because you're just going to be right-clicking the faucet itself to turn it on. Um, that way you can have more locations. Bye-bye, sheep. You're not helping. You're trying to take my materials. I don't need you here. Okay, so th this makes it really handy because then you can have more stations without having more ma wasting more material. So I can put a basin in here, I can put a basin here, and I can do the same thing on this corner here, and this corner here, and then I can put uh, the actual little tables uh, over here, and over here. Again, this stuff can be really time consuming because you need so much clay. Sand is easy to get, gravel is easy to get, Clay, on the other hand, if you find a huge deposit of it, awesome. If you don't, you're going to be hunting for a while. I have one world where I, I built uh, my smeltery on. It took me like 20 minutes just to find a small amount, uh, enough to build the, this just the first level. 
so I can smelt something in it. So uh, now we can basically smelt stuff. We can go ahead and we can fill it. And it doesn't have to be all iron. It can be gold items too or pig iron or all kinds of little random stuff. Just like the stuff in on these workbenches, you don't have to use wood. You can use slime. You can use paper. You can use all kinds of different materials. You're not limited to the basic items that you had with Minecraft Vanilla. So it's kind of cool. We have so many more ores. See, we can build things like... Uh, stuff out of flint you can build stuff out of cactus i mean it's not very strong but nonetheless it's really cool that you can do that uh an end pickaxe paper firewood uh night slime uh, whatever that is uh netherrack cobalt cobalt's a really cool one andite uh, ardite that's another m material uh ma manolin manolin i think has like the most attack I think it's the the strongest durability and the strongest attack in Tinker's Construct, from what I remember. What is this one? Do you see the attack damage on that? I got a... What's it called? It's called an inf, Infi Harvester. Dude, what? Let's go to Infi... The attack. What is the durability on it? Probably like insane as well. A million. Yeah, this thing's freaking OP. I mean, honestly, if you get to the point where you're building this, uh, you, you won Minecraft. <laughs> it's insane. This is... Uh, I, I didn't even know this thing existed. I'm going to have to go look for this type of ore. I don't even know how to make it, quite honestly. I'm going to stick this in here just so I know I have it. And I can look up uh, the recipe for that. Um, if anything, actually, I'm going to look up the recipe for it. I'm going to put the recipe uh, right over here of how you make the uh, in Infi Harvester. This thing is freaking OP. It is an is amazing pick. Anyway, so let's go ahead and we're going to go access our smeltery. And we're going to throw some of this stuff in here. So we can throw our shovel in there. We can throw our pig iron. Oh, we got blood. That's from a, another mod that I have on right now. Uh, we can throw an iron door in there. We can throw the the leggings, the iron bars, and uh, the minecart all in there. Um, I don't think we can throw anything else in there. I don't think it'll... It's going to smell glass. To what? Let's find out. That's freaking cool. I didn't even know you could smell glass. What does it turn into? Well, I don't I don't want to get like hit with... Whoa, you can see all the material in there. Smelting, smelting away. Look at all this slime falling from that slime island. I shouldn't have built my house here. I've got slime like everywhere. It's freaking insane. So, anyways, dude. So let's see what what does it turn into. Okay, we got the iron melting, molten glass. That's freaking cool. It just all melted all at once. <laughs> it's pretty awesome. So now you can uh, now you can make other patterns uh, over here. So we can grab our. Uh, let's see here. We can go grab stencils. Are blank castings so we can make a blank casting I believe and then we can make the castings out of the other one so we can make uh, just kind of like you we did with the wood with the wood parts we can make the metal parts and we can make uh, metal tools as well and, and all the other different things that we just melt melted down like like that <laughs> for instance like the, the glass uh, I don't know if we can use glass uh, for anything let me see I don't know oh there's the glass okay what is this gonna turn into let's see I I'm curious I'm curious to see what the glass block turns into just just a piece of glass let's go to uh, game mode game mode zero and right click that what is that clear glass it makes clear glass so if I break this out that looks freaking awesome that's what I've been wanting for so freaking long it makes clear glass that is the best thing ever. Honestly, I could sit here and smell glass all day long now because that's that that's that's awesome. So you, you cook down glass uh, from sand and then you cook it again in the smell tree and you get um you you get this. That is the best looking. Look at those windows. Those are freaking awesome. I, I love it. That would look awesome in a modern house build. Anyways, dudes, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you guys did, don't forget to smash a like button down below. And as I said before, if you guys are new to this channel, if you guys can click that subscribe button down below, it greatly helps us out and it's greatly appreciated and it lets you dudes know when we upload our daily videos. And until next time, guys, see ya! 
Yeah.